Hello my friends, John LaRuffy here with another Unbiased Unboxing. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at the expansion for Maracaibo. Or Maracaibo, gosh, I always say that. Maracaibo, the um, Uprising expansion. Alright, let's take a look at what's in this thin little box. It's got a little bit of weight in it. Okay, and as usual folks, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Looking at the back of the box, well first of all, the front of the box looks cool. I've always liked the artwork in this game and the expansion seems to stick with the same kind of theme. The back of the box shows a little bit of what you're gonna get. Um, it looks like, you know, you get a, uh, a feeling for kind of some of the components, although you don't see how it's all necessarily integrated, but I did read this and kind of, kind of understand, okay, maybe that's just not gonna be something that they can really show effectively, but, Anyway, here's some of the components sitting next to the game board, and I guess that's just going to be good enough. Normally, I do like to see the game in play, but with an expansion, I understand that's not always possible. At least it tells you what you're getting clearly, which is good news. All right. Now, as I crack this open, nothing special inside of the box. We have a very large size rule book. Let's see how many pages we've got. So it tells you before uh, your first game of the expansion, do something here. All right, and then I'm getting into it now. So um, telling you about the changes to gameplay, the modules, the different tiles, the different things that um, you're going to have with this is the new solo mode. Um, and I'm not sure... Always play when playing cooperatively. Hmm. You should play against Gene or Jacques when playing solo. Okay. So there's some cooperative stuff in this one, it looks like. And some different things. And here's a summary of the symbols. All right. So again, I'm not really sure how easy or not so easy that will be, but we'll see. Um, and you could see some of the legacy tiles and such laid out or explained, pardon me, that way. All right, so the components of the game, medium thickness in our cardboard pieces. These pieces uh, look, you know, has all the similar kind of artwork and such as you did for the base game here. And there you have it. So it looks like we've got an, uh, a little board here for maybe drawing some small cards, it seems, and some other components, some other legacy tiles there. Um, these are new. I don't believe I remember seeing those double symbols, so those are kind of new things. Then you've got a whole bunch of additional treasures and such, as you can see. And those are different, you know, for fulfilling different missions and things like that. And then some more uh, module stuff there. Now, they did talk about dual or uh, some dual layered game boards. So I see that I've got five of them, right, four of them, pardon me, right here. All right, and so these game boards now have punch outs with the inserts and they're doing the fold over method, which I think is great. I think that's really cool. It allows it so that it doesn't warp and I love that they're doing that these days. Um, I even saw in a recent game where there was some stickers you could apply right here and right there to cement the fold overs. You could probably do that. The stickers were really those glue dots. Um, and that might be something that, uh, you know, somebody might want to do. I may actually even think about doing that. But either way, these are okay as they are. For, I, I take that back. They're great as they are. I love the dual board uh, or dual layer boards like that. Oh, look at this. See, here's some stickers, right? What I told you. So um, most likely that was a capstone game that uh, it was probably, oh, it was for, you know, it was for Boone Lake. Sorry, I've unboxed a couple things these days and uh, got that mixed. So they've, they've got these stickers you can put right on there and seal them up, which is a great idea. Okay, and then we've got a bag of bags, which is good. Another one of these bags here of dif different colors helps you figure out what to do with the legacy stuff. And then our cards. All right, and with the cards... We have the same type of smooth card and slightly thinner quality on here. And they're they're okay. I these are like right in the middle. I don't know what I expect any day anymore with cards. Um, 
they're fine. They're absolutely fine. They don't feel too flimsy. I'm gonna, of course, um, sleeve them, but that's my own personal preference. The artwork is good. Different people, different things here. There's temples, some different guys. So all of these are gonna be mixing in, I'm sure, allowing you to do different things completely. So you just give, I'm just giving you a flavor for what you're gonna get on this. So it adds a lot of variety to a game with already, I think, a lot of variety. I've always uh, felt that the base game was good, was fun, had a lot of variety going on. I know that some people um, like it, some people think it isn't quite as good as um, you know, some of the other Fister titles, but I really like it. I thought it was very enjoyable. So here we're getting all the stories so you can see chapter four. Let's see how many chapters there are in this thing. All right. There's the all-inclusive gameplay. So it looks like there was, oh, there's cooperative games you can do. So lots of stuff in here. I'm gonna say that it's a, keep going to the stories, trying to figure out how many chapters for you guys. Chapter five, so it looks like it's a five chapter campaign. And then a whole bunch of other stuff you can add. Things for the solo. I love that they put another solo in there. That's awesome, solo player. I found the original solo player pretty tough to beat. I did beat um, them once, maybe, but in my games, uh, it was always either um, either close where I lost or he, he or she, I can't remember, I think it was a she, smoked me. So definitely a competitive game. Um, so there we go. I think that the components look good. I'm excited to give it a try. I can't wait to see what this adds to the base game. And I think these dual layer player boards are really cool with the stickers. That's awesome. That keeps them together. Thank you everybody for watching this unboxing. I appreciate it. Whatever you decide to play in the future, I hope you have an awesome time doing it. Take it easy.